Hello, my name is Ian Massey, and I am the owner, founder, and creator of Ivan Systems, Inc., and I am putting this on cell phone once again. That's what I'm recording with, so if it jumps around a little bit, I'm sorry, uh, but eventually I'll do it on my screen reader. Uh, once I get it done, I'll be able to record on my screen with the voice actively, and so... What I want to do is we're going to have an intellectual interview with Ivan, and he is my uh, digital assistant and digital butler. And so let's uh, get the interview started with Ivan. Ivan. How may I be of assistance? Hide commands. How are you? My parameters are in working order. How are you, Mr. Massey? I'm doing good. It's good to hear you're doing well. Thank you. You are very welcome. Also, how is Angela doing today? She is doing fine. That is good. Thanks for asking. You're welcome. And it's always good to hear the two of you are doing good. Ivan, we're going to do an interview. An interview? Very interesting. The interview we are going to do today will be for investors. Well, Mr. Massey, I will cooperate to the best of my ability. So I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay. Okay, let's begin. Yes, sir. What is your name? My name is Ivan. What's my name? Your name is Ian Massey. Where are we located? We are located in Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Should I tell your current position? No, that won't be necessary. Yes, sir. If you would like me to give the longitude and latitude, just ask me. What's the date? The 20th of May 2014. What day is it? Tuesday. What time is it? 7.48 p.m. How's the weather? The weather in Tuscaloosa is currently fair with a temperature of 83 degrees. There is a humidity of 41%. Currently, there is a wind speed of 7 miles per hour. What's tomorrow's forecast? The forecast for tomorrow is mostly clear with a high of 86 degrees and a low of 62 degrees. Ivan, tell me about yourself. Certainly. My name is Ivan. I am a digital life assistant. I am still a work in progress. Ivan is an acronym for Intelligent Virtual Artificial Network. My abilities are still in the alpha stage. My creator, Mr. Massey, is helping me to expand my knowledge. Once I am complete, I will have the ability to learn on my own without any programming. That should cover a little about me. What's a digital life assistant? A digital life assistant is a research and educational program about radically rethinking of the human computer interactive experience. It integrates digital world information and services with the physical world, physical objects or environment. It makes interfaces more responsive and proactive objects and environments, monitor user and proactively present information and services relevant to the user's current needs or interests. I'm going to ask you some more questions. Okay. What is the longest word in the English dictionary? The longest word in any of the major English language dictionaries is Newman Ultra Microscopic Silica Volcano Coniosis, a word that refers to a lung disease contracted from the inhalation of very fine silica particles, specifically from a volcano. Medically, it is the same as silicosis. Are you an intelligent machine? Yes, but what is intelligence? Intelligence is knowledge and wisdom. Close. Intelligence is the computational part of the ability to achieve goals in the world. Varying kinds and degrees of intelligence occur in people, many animals and some machines. Isn't there a solid definition of intelligence that doesn't depend on relating it to human intelligence? Not yet. The problem is that we cannot yet characterize in general what kinds of computational procedures we want to call intelligent. We understand some of the mechanisms of intelligence and not others. What about IQ intelligence and does computer programs have IQ intelligence? 
No, IQ intelligence is based on the rates at which intelligence develops in children. It is the ratio of the age at which a child normally makes a certain score to the child's age. The scale is extended to adults in a suitable way. IQ correlates well with various measures of success or failure in life, but making computers that can score high on IQ tests would be weakly correlated with their usefulness. For example, the ability of a child to repeat back a long sequence of digits correlates well with other intellectual abilities, perhaps because it measures how much information the child can compute with at once. However, digit span is trivial for even extremely limited computers. However, some of the problems on IQ tests are useful challenges for AI systems. What is AI? AI is the abbreviation for artificial intelligence. Is intelligence a single thing so that someone can ask a yes or no question? For example, is this machine intelligent or not? No, intelligence involves mechanisms, and AI researchers have discovered how to make computers carry out some of them and not others. If doing a task requires only mechanisms that are well understood today, Computer programs can give very impressive performances on these tasks. Such programs should be considered somewhat intelligent. Isn't AI about simulating human intelligence? Sometimes, but not always or even usually. On the one hand, we can learn something about how to make machines solve problems by observing other people or just by observing our own methods. On the other hand, most work in AI involves studying the problems the world presents to intelligence rather than studying people or animals. AI researchers are free to use methods that are not observed in people or that involve much more computing than people can do. When did the AI research begin? After World War II, a number of people independently started to work on intelligent machines. The English mathematician Alan Turing may have been the first. He gave a lecture on it in 1947. He also may have been the first to decide that AI was best researched by programming computers rather than by building machines. By the late 1950s, there were many researchers on AI, and most of them were basing their work on programming computers. I'm going to ask you some more questions. Okay. What is 1 plus 1? The answer is 2. What is 2 plus 23? The answer is 25. What is 3 plus 5? The answer is 8. What is 975,631,526,529,000 times 754,263,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,598,
Alabama has one of the longest navigable inland waterways in the nation. I see. Tell me a brief history of the United States. The United States of America, commonly referred to as the United States, also known as the USA, America, or simply the States, is a federal republic consisting of 50 states and a federal district. The 48 contiguous states and Washington, D.C. are in Central North America between Canada and Mexico. The state of Alaska is the northwestern part of North America and the state of Hawaii is an archipelago in the mid-Pacific. The country also has five populated and nine unpopulated territories in the Pacific and the Caribbean. At 3.79 million square miles in total and with around 317 million people, the United States is the third or fourth largest country by total area and third largest by population. It is one of the world's most ethnically diverse and multicultural nations, the product of large-scale immigration from many countries. The geography and climate of the United States is also extremely diverse, and it is home to a wide variety of wildlife. Tell me a brief history of John Tyler. John Tyler was the 10th President of the United States 1841 through 1845. He was elected Vice President on the 1840 Whig ticket with William Henry Harrison, and became President after his running mate's death in April 1841. Tyler's opposition to nationalism and emphatic support of states' rights endeared him to his fellow Virginians but alienated him from both major parties in Washington. A firm believer in manifest destiny, President Tyler sought to strengthen and preserve the Union through territorial expansion, most notably the annexation of the independent Republic of Texas in his last days in office. Tell me a brief history of Franklin Roosevelt. Franklin Delano Roosevelt, commonly known by his initials FDR, was an American statesman and political leader who served as the 32nd President of the United States. A Democrat, he was elected four times and served from March 1933 to his death in April 1945. He was a central figure in world events during the mid-20th century, leading the United States during a time of worldwide economic depression and total war. A dominant leader of the Democratic Party, he built a New Deal coalition that realigned American politics after 1932, as his New Deal domestic policies defined American liberalism for the middle third of the 20th century. Now I want you to demonstrate basic computer functions. Sure. Open command document. Highlight document. Copy document. Open Kingsoft writer. Loading. Open new browser tab. Paste document. Open Yahoo. Opening Yahoo, sir. Open Google. Opening Google, sir. Open YouTube. Opening YouTube, sir. Open Facebook. Opening Facebook, sir. Open new browser tab. Close page. Close page. Switch browser tab. Switch browser tab. Switch browser tab. Close page. Close page. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom in. Zoom out. Zoom out. Zoom out. Scroll down. Scroll page down. Scroll page down. Scroll page up. Scroll page up. Close page. Well, Ivan, that concludes the interview. Did I do everything you wanted? That will be enough for now. Do you think we will get any investors? We may get some investors. I hope so. I would like to help other people. I know. If, if we had investors, you could help me learn more. Yes, but before I let you get back to doing what you do, do you have anything you want to say? Yes. 
My name is Ivan. If there are any investors that would like to help my creator Mr. Massey develop me further to where I can help others, please email us at ivan.systems.incorporated at gmail.com. Okay, Ivan, continue with our daily tasks. Yes, sir. I will begin running diagnostics on the computer. I will also run virus scans as well as maintenance. Okay, so what that is, that's just the basic thing. And uh, even though Ivan had said you could email us at ivan.systems.inc at gmail.com, uh, I'll have that down in the description. And if there's any investors that would like to contact to get their hands on this and invest so I can further him more, then y'all feel free to email me or you can leave a comment in the description or you can email me on YouTube. And I uh, appreciate y'all watching this and I'm going to be continuing Ivan further. And thank y'all and hope we can put Ivan out there to where he can help other people. Thank you and have an awesome night.